deep inside, a ball of light, pulling the dust and gas towards it, heating up, merging into a ball of burning hot gas. Like a star, like our sun, in miniature. It's millions of degrees inside it, so hot it's beginning to trigger nuclear reactions, the kind that keep our sun shining, making energy, radiation, light. A star is being born. Or rather, stars. Orion's dark cloud is a vast star factory. We're witnessing the birth of the future universe. We've come to expect hostile horrors, but we're discovering one of the universe's greatest creative wonders, star birth. Perhaps we spoke too soon. Jets of gas exploding outwards at 200,000 kilometers an hour. Blasting dust and gas out for millions of kilometers. It's unbelievably violent, but look at the results. It's beyond words. Nebula, vast glowing clouds of gas hanging in space. With no wind out here, they'll take thousands of years to disperse. They seem to be forming a vast stellar sculpture. It makes you realize nature is more than a scientist, an engineer. It's an artist on the grandest of scales. We've seen some strange sights, but this is a masterpiece. A giant horse's head rearing up in space. Stars are born grow up, and then, then what? Do they die? Do they slip quietly into the night, or go out with a bang? Somewhere between here and the edge of the universe lies the answer. Nearly 4,000 light years further, luminous clouds suspended in space encircling what was once a star like our own sun. All that's left of it are these brightly colored gases. Elements formed by nuclear fusion deep inside the star released into space on its death. Green and violet, hydrogen and helium, the raw materials of the universe. Red and blue, nitrogen and oxygen, the building blocks of life on Earth. For us to live, stars like this had to die. The oxygen in our lungs, the nitrogen in our DNA. It was all produced by nuclear fusion in stars that died long before the Earth was even born. We are made of stellar nuclear waste. Our family tree begins here. At its heart, the ghost of a star. It's a white dwarf. White, 
Hot. Small. But unbelievably dense. In the star's dying moments, its atoms fused and squeezed together, making it so dense that just a teaspoon of this white dwarf would weigh one ton. It's a chilling premonition of our sun's fate. Six billion years from now, it'll become a white dwarf. Its death will herald the end of life on Earth. It makes you wonder how many other worlds have been and gone. Stories left untold. Celestial books lost forever. But the greatest story of them all is still to be told. We must go back through time to the very first chapter to tell the story of how the universe began. The scattered remains of a dead star. A nebula, the Crab Nebula. We're 6,000 light years from home, deep inside a stellar graveyard. We've learned so much, seen things we'd never have believed possible. Now, sights like this, wonders once beyond imagination, we take in our stride. We're ready, ready to face whatever lies ahead, determined to reach the edge of the universe. It looks dead, but maybe this is just the calm after the storm, after a massive explosion, powerful enough to turn a huge star into a cloud of dust and gas, a supernova. The eye of the storm, a spinning, pulsating star, a pulsar. Gravity must have squeezed the giant star's core down to this. It's just 20 kilometers across, unimaginably dense. One pinhead of this would weigh hundreds, maybe millions of tons. As it shrank, like a figure skater spinning on the spot, arms outstretched, then pulling them in, it began to spin faster. Two beams of light, energy, radiation, spinning 30 times a second, powering the huge cloud of dust and gas. There's so much radiation here, more even than on the sun. That was easily the deadliest thing we've encountered so far. Once, it would have terrified us. But now we realize that without the dangers, there'd be no wonders. Without the nightmares, there'd be no dreams. Getting a strange sensation. A feeling, as though there's something bad out here. A malevolent presence. The one thing we didn't want to encounter. Impossibly black, blotting out the stars behind it. We are staring into the face of extinction. The remains of a giant star. A black hole. Instead of contracting to a white dwarf or a pulsar, it just kept on going. Shrinking until it got so small it's just a few kilometers across. 
far denser than a pulsar and impossible to resist. Stray too close and there's no turning back. Now we know why it's a black hole. Its gravity is so intense, not even light can escape. This asteroid, it's a lump of solid rock, but it's actually stretching, being dragged towards the gaping hole. Inside, there's no matter as we know it. No time, no space. All the rules of physics collapse. The asteroid is gone. Truth is, nobody really knows where. We're looking at the limit of human understanding. There could be millions of black holes creeping around our galaxy. More perhaps than all the stars in the sky. But we wouldn't see them until it was too late. Like this star, spiraling disappearing down an invisible plug hole. Who's to say we don't live inside a vast black hole? That the whole universe isn't inside one right now, inside another universe. Think about it for too long and your mind reels. Sometimes it feels like the more we see, the less we know. But we do know our galaxy is more complex and more dangerous than we ever imagined. And we're still in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The vastness of the universe beyond still lies ahead. The wonders, the dangers, the secrets, they're out there. But first, We've got to find a way out of the Milky Way. Seven thousand light years from home. Still deep inside our own galaxy. It's as though we're in a forest thick with trees, each so beautiful, so fascinating. It's impossible to look beyond to see the bigger picture. We have to find a way through, reach the clearing at the galaxy's edge. Only then can we begin to understand where it and we all began. But faced with sights like this, it's hard to leave. A colossal glowing cloud topped by these great towers of dust. The pillars of creation. Like a gateway into the far galaxy. Both pillars studded with tiny protrusions. Embryonic star systems. Each one the size of our solar system. Another monument to nature's astonishing creativity. We have to ignore its captivating beauty its siren song, tear ourselves away in order to carry onwards towards the edge of the galaxy. <laughs> Dazzled by the Milky Way's beauty, we've been blinded to its terrors and strayed into a cosmic minefield. Like an explosion in slow motion, giant clouds of gas are bursting out of this star. A massive star, millions of times brighter than our sun. It's going into meltdown. The fuel that sustains it is running out. The nuclear reactions that power it winding down. We're watching its death throes. Eventually, the core will implode. The result? A new black hole.
an even bigger, dangerously unstable star. But this one's about to explode. And when a star this big dies, it's a hundred times more violent than a supernova. Somehow we've stumbled into the most violent star death imaginable, a hypernova. The core's collapsed. It's becoming a black hole. And that's the shockwave, surging through the star, ripping its outer layers into space. There's lethal radiation everywhere, enough to have a catastrophic effect on any planet unlucky enough to be nearby. When virtually every species on Earth was wiped out 450 million years ago, the culprit may have been one of these. Deadly hypernovas, frozen comets, scorched planets, white dwarfs, red giants, Earth. Tiny drops in a vast pool of white light. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way. We want to know where we fit in. Here's our answer. Civilizations past and present. Everyone that's ever lived. The smallest bug 